So we have a question from Husni Alelo from our complete sketch up on Vray Kos, where he's asking when making a render repeats the image, how do I solve it and not repeat the image? All right, let's go. So first thing what you need to do is just create the face. So I'm just going to create a face and I'm also going to keep an eye on the dimensions. So let's say three feet comma four feet. Now let's bring in the Mona Lisa. So I'm just going to go to Google and search for Mona Lisa. All right, we can pick this. Right click, save. It's also a good idea. Let's open this image. Right, so it doesn't have any borders as such. But let's check the image properties. So you just right click on the image and click on properties. And if you go to details, you can see that the size is 1024 by 1526. So you can pretty much use the same size. Uh, for example, 1024 mm by 1526 mm. That is around 3 feet 3 inches by 5 feet. You can use that or you can just type in this value and scale it accordingly in SketchUp. So again, let's make a rectangle. So we can type it in, in SketchUp in mm. So 1024 mm comma 1526 mm. Press enter and this is the right size of the image. All right, so now we can bring in our texture. So let's go to file, import and select our Mona Lisa. And most important step here is to make sure you click on texture so that it tiles. It's better to use texture because you can sort of adjust the image as well. So let's click on import and let's click once and then click the second time. And now you can see that it sits in perfectly. Now let's check V-Ray as well. So I'm going to open V-Ray. Right, so I'm going to use the bucket tool, select, select this and this is the image that we have here. So now you can see it actually tiles here. But when you run the interactive render, Let's click on RTX, switch on interactive and run the interactive render. You can see that it comes in perfectly. So it's always important that you make the right size here before you bring in your images. And now for some troubleshooting tips, let's see uh, the first tip which I would give is now, for example, you click right click, click on position. And then I move this like this and right click and done. So sometimes you'll find an image like this where it tiles. Now the best way to solve this problem is by selecting the face, right click, go to texture and click on position and bring it close to the middle of this image. And once you're do done doing that, you can right click and click on done. Another way is by using a plugin called Sketch UV. So if I switch on Sketch UV, you can see that we have Sketch UV here. So this is a pretty useful plugin. Now let me undo. Now the best way to sort this out is by selecting this icon here, just sketch UV mapping tools and then right clicking on the face and clicking on planar map. Now if it gets stretched a little too much, you can right click and click on planar map again. And then you can see that it sits in perfectly. So that's two ways to troubleshoot your problems when you are fixing this image. And also uh, tip number three is that if you're using groups, now for example, I'm going to select this right click and going to make it a group. Now, if I want to apply your texture on this image, uh, I will not be able to do it. So if I click on file, import, and then select this image, you can see that it has this black circle icon, which indicates that you can't really apply it on a group. So always make sure you enter the group first, select the face, and then go to file, import, select this image, click once, and then paste it in place. Now, if you notice that if you see this tiling issue again, the best way I would fix it is by selecting this line and then simply moving it in. Alright guys, and the final tip that I would give you is to use the V-Ray mapping tools as well. So just go to view, toolbars and click on V-Ray utilities. So you can see that it provides some mapping functionalities as well. So what you need to do is simply select the face. And the best way to solve this is by clicking on Triangle Planar Projection World. And if you want to fit an image or sort of stretch it, then you can click on Triplanar Projections Fit as well. So if I extend this, select this image and click on Fit, so you can see that it sort of stretches. Uh, the spherical projections, we use it on a sphere and not generally on a flat face. 
So always important to make sure you know the size of your image before you bring them in. Make sure you create the right sized rectangle in SketchUp and then bring in your image. So I hope this video helped. Uh, please do like and subscribe for more such videos. I'm going to keep it simple, not too much editing and uh, solve a lot of student questions from my SketchUp course on Udemy. So if you want to check out the SketchUp course, you can just go to udemy.com, search for SketchUp and you'll find my course right on top. The complete SketchUp in V-Ray course for interior design. Uh, once you enroll, you'll get access to all these videos and plus the Q&A section where you can ask me questions and I'll be happy to answer them in the form of written text or a YouTube video or personal videos in the course itself. All right, hope you like and subscribe on my YouTube channel so that I can keep creating videos like this and help you guys in your SketchUp journey. I'll see you guys next video. Cheers.